Hi, I'm David, an instructor at Grand Circus. Welcome to the Data Structures video series. There are five videos in this series. In this first video, we will introduce the concept of a data structure and how it relates to programming. In later videos, we'll dive into specific examples of data structures that you will use on the job. Let's start off with a definition. A data structure is a way to store and organize data that makes it efficient to access and manipulate. When we talk about storing and organizing data, we're talking about how multiple values such as numbers and characters are organized together into a larger whole. An array is perhaps the most basic example of a data structure. Multiple values are arranged next to each other in sequential order. It is a simple and efficient data structure. Data structures are important to think about because how we structure data determines what we can do with that data in our program. Each data structure has pros and cons, and we need to pick the right tool for the job. As an analogy, consider how you might structure shoes in a closet. You could throw them in a pile at the bottom. That makes putting your shoes away very efficient. You just toss them in. But then it might take extra time to rummage through and find a matching pair. Alternatively, you could store the shoes in an organizer rack. It's going to take a bit of extra time to put the shoes away, but it will save you time picking them out later. Each structure is optimized for one thing and not for another. It's up to you to decide what fits your situation. So remember, a data structure is a way to store and organize data that makes it efficient to access and manipulate. But because each data structure is more or less efficient for different things, different data structures are suitable for doing different jobs. Being familiar with a few of the common data structures means having tools in your software developer tool belt. When you run into a particular challenge, you'll be able to pick the right tool for the job. You will also find that these data structures are already written for you, either built into the language you're using or available via free code libraries you can download. Using these pre-built tools will save you hours of time and prevent many bugs. Why reinvent the wheel? Another reason it's important to understand data structures is performance. Different data structures come with different performance pros and cons. When you discover your application is getting painfully slow, you need to understand where to look and how to fix it. And finally, it's important in our case to be familiar with data structures because many of the top jobs may include questions about data structures in their interviews. In this video, we introduced the concept of data structures as a way to store and organize data that makes it efficient to access and manipulate. We also saw that different data structures are suitable for doing different jobs. In upcoming videos, we'll dive into some common data structures and how they are used.